Neil Strauss, The Truth, An Uncomfortable Book About Relationships. Embark on a journey to understanding the concept of polyamory and the variety of relationship forms it offers in this summary of Neil Strauss's The Truth, an uncomfortable book about relationships. Delve into the spiritual aspects of polyamorous relationships, the importance of rules and boundaries, and the different shapes they take, including fixed partnerships and open relationships. Learn about the complexities that come with managing multiple relationships and the challenges of overcoming jealousy. Furthermore, this book will tackle the topic of sex addiction and the role of trauma in shaping one's ability to form loving connections. The Spiritual Side of Polyamory Polyamory is about loving multiple people simultaneously as a reaction against monogamous society. It's not just about sex, but also about the spiritual aspects of love. This can foster compassion and understanding between partners, enabling complete openness and making sex a holy experience. The polyamorous community calls their practice, the lifestyle. Boundaries and rules are essential to enjoy the lifestyle through a trusting, shame-free relationship that is strong. The Complexities of Polyamorous Relationships Polyamory encompasses a range of relationship styles, which require open communication, giving to the group, and overcoming jealousy. While some limit themselves to fixed partners, others have an open arrangement. Such relationships require letting go of insecurities and separating sex and love to avoid jealousy and unhappiness. Polyamory is not just about having sex with multiple partners. It refers to a range of relationship styles that involve multiple partners. These relationships come in many different forms, from having fixed partners to open arrangements. While complex relationships are challenging, restrictions can help to simplify relationships by establishing clear boundaries among partners. Open communication among partners is critical. It requires each person involved to feel comfortable sharing their feelings honestly. Building an open environment means overcoming jealousy. Such an atmosphere can be created by thinking of relationships in terms of giving, and not just getting. It is crucial to think about what you can give to the group, independent of what you want in return. However, some relationships of this type have a fulcrum, a member with a relationship to every other person. Such a person often occupies the role of a benevolent dictator, controlling all decision-making. At the opposite end of the polyamorous spectrum is the open relationship, where each partner can sleep with whomever they like. Such arrangements require letting go of fears of loss, insecurity, and jealousy, vocalizing emotions, and separating physical intimacy from love. Men, in particular, are naturally wired to compete for sex, but men can learn to separate sex from love only after which it becomes open to more people. If done right, this can separate intimacy that comes with sex and love from general feelings of sexual desire, helping relationships to hold. But if in the quest to avoid jealous love, emotional attachment is left behind, this can cause dissatisfaction in the long run. Understanding Sex Addiction Sex addiction is a behavioral disorder that controls an individual's sex-related actions above all else. It follows a cycle of preoccupation, ritualization, and shame, but harm is caused to others rather than one's body. Intimacy is not necessarily a factor, and the boundaries of diagnosis are blurred. What is important is that the relationship satisfies the parties involved. Trauma and its potential impact on sex addiction The roots of sex addiction may stem from trauma experienced in childhood. Some people who experienced neglect during their early years may develop love addiction, while those raised by overbearing parents may struggle with love avoidance. Around 80% of sex addicts come from families with emotional disturbances, indicating that the source of the problem is not just one individual, but rather the family as a unit. Therapy is crucial in helping addicts overcome their trauma and rebuild their self-worth. Through therapy, addicts learn to establish a healthy and honest relationship with themselves, which is vital for developing a successful relationship with others. Overcoming Intimacy Issues 
Intimacy can be difficult for both love addicts and love avoidance. Understanding yourself and accepting your true feelings can help overcome love avoidance caused by emotional overload from parents. Sex addiction often has physical causes, but it can be overcome through diet and medication. It's normal to fantasize about others, and different relationship forms like polyamory may be right for some. Two-step technique for healthy self-relationship. If you're struggling with a healthy self-relationship, try the two-step technique mentioned in this book summary. First, take space from relationships and sexual partners to understand yourself. Second, Remake yourself based on responsibility and honesty while cultivating patience to nurture your relationship to yourself. Overcoming your past is half the battle, but don't let fears and expectations of the future distract you. Be focused on the here and now and don't indulge in unhealthy sexual habits that could potentially lead to a lifetime of shame. Remember, it's not your relationships that are broken, but you. Take responsibility for your feelings and others and work towards a healthier self-relationship. In The Truth, an uncomfortable book about relationships, Neil Strauss has taken us through the world of polyamory, illustrating the varying forms it takes, and its distinctions from sex addiction. Understanding how childhood traumas affect our attachment patterns and relationships is essential to cultivating healthy connections and overcoming inherent intimacy issues. As we explore the concept of polyamory and its implications for our lives and relationships, it's vital to have open communication, trust, and respect for each partner's boundaries and desires. Embrace the opportunity to learn more about ourselves and potentially reshape how we approach love and intimacy in our lives.